inside the mirrored skyscraper megacity in the desert. The world is heading to the future and taking architecture on the same route to grab everyone's attention at once. Saudi Arabia is known for so many exceptional things and architecture is one of their main fortes when it comes to building. New images have revealed an outstanding, breathtaking, futuristic interior inside Saudi Arabia's proposed 75-mile mirror-encased skyscraper city called The Line. It's a $1 trillion mega-project launched by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman and will be surely part of the desert complex of Neom. There are tons of features and other cool elements that should be pointed out, and we are going to do it. Welcome back to the Billion Dollar Projects channel. To hang out with us and see future projects around the world, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the next videos. The continuation of the story follows, so make yourself comfortable. Well, it's going to be a futuristic megacity. Ever since it was announced in 2017, Neom has gained an insane amount of attention for proposed flourishes like flying taxis and robot maids, and also received criticism from human rights campaigners who say the residents have been forced out to make way for its construction. First thing first, for those who don't know about the main area Neom, it's a regional Silicon Valley spread over 26,500 square kilometers. In short, it's a huge hub of an economic zone in northwestern Saudi Arabia and plans to house 9 million people by 2045. Back in 2021, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman first revealed his plans for the line in January. The moment you look at the pictures of this mega project, so many Hollywood sci-fi movies circulate in your head, and Star Wars would be the first one. Because the whole city shows sci-fi inspired interiors, with angular glass structures contorting in different shapes over an artificial river. You also get to see the trees climbing up, which will be fully powered by, as mentioned, renewable energy in the sprawling tropical metropolis, and that exactly looks like a Star Wars set. In the images, it gives you the pure Star Wars vibe. Imagine entering into this amazing eco-city and exploring the futuristic city that has always been part of the movies coming to reality. On the construction and design, Bin Salman himself stated that, I want this country to house a construction project as iconic and timeless as the pyramids of Egypt. He also claimed that he wants the mirror line to be ready by 2030, although engineers have said it could take 50 years to construct. One of the key parts of the Eco City is that it will be 200 meters wide and run on pure 100% renewable energy. As per the plan shared, the city will be sandwiched between two 500 meter high, 170 kilometer long mirrored exterior facades that cut through a vast array of desert and mountains. People will get heartwarming hanging pathways, gardens, and a stadium. Along with that, an octagonal floating port city, flying elevators, a swimming lane for commuters and robots, and AI to serve its future residents. This megacity will be based on artificial intelligence, and that's the plan is to craft the most beautiful futuristic city on Earth. If fully completed, the skyscraper will run from the Gulf of Aqaba through a mountain range and then extend along the coast into a desert aerotropolis. Now the big question is how it's being funded. The prince said the city's first phase is set to cost 1.2 trillion rials, $458 billion, half of which will come from the Kingdom's Sovereign Wealth Fund, the public investment fund, he said. In the fourth quarter of this year, Saudi Arabia will tap sovereign funds approximately around 600 billion rials to raise according to the plan. Also soon, the announcement happened and images revealed many UK companies have shown their interest in investing in it. These mega projects are great. But have you ever wondered why Saudi Arabia insists on their implementation and comes up with new projects? The prince plans that as many people as possible to visit his country. By building new cities, he wanted first of all to attract a lot of tourists who would leave money in the country, but also to populate the new cities as much as possible with foreigners. It would greatly improve the country's economy and set Saudi Arabia apart from the rest of the world. It would be a unique country with new futuristic cities that take your breath away. Well, folks, looks like we've reached the end of the video. We have talked a lot, now you will talk a little. Tell us your opinions about this project and whether you would move to the Lion City. Why? There is a comment section below, so feel free and write your comments there. We would like to know your opinion. At the very end, don't forget to like and share the video. 
Subscribe to our channel and press the bell so you don't miss more content like this one. Hope you enjoyed today. Thanks for your attention. We will make more interesting videos for you. Have a great day and see you again.